Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm SMatics. hope you're doing great right here, and today we have really interesting challenge, really interesting like, relaxing challenge for everyone, doesn't matter you're a kid, you're a student, you're a, you're a teacher, this is like a really great and relaxing challenge for everyone, we have 30 to the power 90, we need to divide all of the things by 90 to the power 30, we have a complicated expression, and maybe a lot of students wanted to raise this 30 to the 90s power, and we need to raise this 90 to the 30 power, and somehow we will cancel it, but it's very long way to solve this challenge, and this video we are going to solve this challenge completely step by step and according to a great math according to a great math properties so let's start to solve this challenge right here from the from the left side as a result we have right here 30 to the 90s power yeah and we divide all of the thing by 90 90 to the 30s power so what we're going to do first first of all let's write this 90 as 3 times 30 let's do this so we have right here 30 to the power 3 times 30 3 times 30 and we divide all of the thing by 90 to the power 30 so still the same denominator really great right now we need to learn we need to remember about really great algebra property really great power rule when we have for example m to the power a times b when we have something like that we can easily write it as, as like that we can easily write it as m to the power a raised to the power b okay and we're going to apply this property right here in this in this numerator okay let's do this right now we have absolutely the same case so we're gonna bring these three inside these inside these parentheses so let's do this right now as a result what do we have right here we have 30 to the power 3 and we raise all of the thing to the power we still have 30 according to this according to this property and we divide all of the thing by 90 to the power 30 so the same denominator really great right now another really great property another really great rule right here if we have a to the power x if we read this expression if we divided this expression by b to the power x so say in other words we have different expressions right here a and b but the same power we can easily write it in one parenthesis so we can easily write it in one parenthesis so we have right here a over b to the power to the power x so right now let's use this rule let's let's uh, write this rule let's write this expression according to this according to this rule as a result right here we have 30 to the power 3 we divide all of the thing by by 90 and we raise all of this expression by 30 by the same the, the common power to the power x but in our case x is equal to x is equal to 30 really great Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily write this 30 as uh, 30 cube. We can easily write it as 30 times 30 times 30. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have 30 times 30 and times 30. And we divide all of this by, by 90. And we erase all of the thing by, by the 30s power. Really great. We can easily cancel this. This is a very basic expression. So we can easily divide this 90 and 30. We can easily cancel this by 30. So as a result right here, we have 3. And we can easily cancel this 30 with this 3. So as a result right here, we have we have 10. So 10 times 30 equal to equal to 300. Yeah, we have right here 300. 300 to the power 30. And this is enough. We can't uh, simplify this more right here. So it's like not possible to simplify this more. One way is to like express this as a power of 10. We can do this, but it's not like necessary in our case because we simplify it. We have a base, we have a power. Yeah, so this is enough. Enough for us. We, we solve this. We solve this question. So we have 300 to the power 300 to the power 30. You can also write your assumption down into the comment section. What about your approach? There are a lot of approaches. How can you do this? According to different according to different math properties, this is really great to practice these properties right here because a lot of a lot of really interesting things. So we can easily write your assumption down into the comment section. Write your approach and you can easily write your approach down into the comment section and we will check we will check our answers. This is a really great question to practice your power rules. So for example, if you are struggling with, with powers, with, with exponents, with power this is really great question to remember these two really interesting properties and this is really great question i guess for everyone because maybe someone don't, don't like math someone like math it's a really great question to test your school knowledge and i hope you i hope you understand my explanation i hope you understand my thoughts my thoughts about it <clears throat> 
So thank you for your time. Also, thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I really want to say thank you, everyone. If you if you write your response down into the comment section, when you leave a, leave a like if this video is helpful. If this video is not helpful, you can also uh, leave a dislike. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your response. It really helps me to improve my videos. I really appreciate it. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have more than 300 videos on my challenge, on my channel with really interesting questions every day so I hope you will enjoy it and I hope that this channel is helpful for you and this channel will help you to learn a little bit math I guess yeah this is really interesting and really great for me to see your respond down into the comment section so see you in the next videos have a great day and take care